So, let me begin by apologising for the background noise. This is driving my computer to distraction with the amount of 3D data it's having to render in real time. Uh, what we're looking at here is a visualisation of the ISIBIS data. And I think if you look carefully, you, you can actually see the room, and I, although it looks to me a bit upside down from this point of view. Um, there's some odd interesting features. The uh, intersecting yellow lines actually are uh, a visualisation tool. This represents the kind of centre point, so that's where the camera was. This circle here is interesting. But as the uh, kind of world shifts around, I think you can actually get a sense of the room shape from the um, 3D data here. Um, I remember the room was quite curved, so it's picking up that curve quite nicely. And this large black area here um, represents the shadow created, I think, possibly by the screen here. Now, obviously, what we want to do is to actually pick up the data from the screen's point of view uh, and make it relative to that vector there. So that's actually quite nicely aligned, which is good. OK, we're getting a good view of the room now. Um, you can just see the shape of it there. Um, and uh, I think that's kind of... I mean, the data's looking quite good, actually, I think, from this point of view. Obviously, we're not getting colour, we're getting some kind of luminosity measure. Um, so, with the grey background, I think sometimes we're losing some of the points. But I think otherwise, okay, now we're coming up and we're looking almost in plan. In a second, we'll sort of see a plan view. There we go. So, not looking too bad, I think, from that point of view. Here we go. That's the plan. So that's what we want to section and make a kind of flat, uh, typical isobisc piece of data from. Well, not too bad, I think, is the first response. Uh, we need a bit more work on the code in order to um, extract out the various isobisc values, but it's kind of a good starting point.